Let me start this tutorial off with a question. How nice would it be if you could send an email to all your students' parents letting them know what you're working on in class and the homework assignment for that night or for that week? Of course it would be great because number one, you'd look really professional and number two, you'd be able to work with the parent to make sure that the student's getting all his work done. Of course the problem is that we don't have the email addresses in Outlook. All of them are stored in Infinite Campus and they'll need to be imported into Outlook. Luckily, I've already exported all of those email addresses and I've sent them to you in an email. If you're not at Fox Meadow Middle School, then someone in your administration or your counseling department or your registrar will prepare that um, spreadsheet for you to be imported. And I do have a video on how to make that spreadsheet. But that's what we're going to do today. Is Number one, we're going to set up the spreadsheet so that it's ready to be imported. Number two, we're going to import the files into Outlook. And finally, number three, we just got to kind of set up Outlook so you're ready for those mass emails. Three things should take about 10, 15 minutes tops. So first, let's go ahead and look at that spreadsheet that um, has been sent to you. This is what it should look like when you open it. And you're going to click in this box right here up in the upper left-hand corner. You're going to put your cursor on this line and double-click. And that should spread, open it up so you can see it. Now we have all fake names over here, of course, fake guardian addresses and fake teachers just for YouTube. But as we scroll down, you'll see the ter this teacher here, then go to another teacher and another teacher. And we don't need all of these email addresses just for ourselves. So we're going to scroll down until we find just ourselves. In this case, I'm going to pretend to be um, Miss Kelly Kapoor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select right above her. This email address I need, but this one is another teacher's email address. I don't need that one. So I select this number, and I scroll all the way to the top. I hit the Shift key, and then I select the number 2. And that will highlight all of those names in between that I don't need. I right-click, and I select Delete. Then I'm going to scroll down a little farther. And here is another teacher. I don't need this teacher's email addresses either. So I select there. I scroll down to the very bottom. And I select that last possible one. I right click. I select delete. And now it's all gone. Now I just have my own names. Uh, my own students names. And you can look up here that what we're import, what we're gonna import is last name, first name, the email address of the guardian, the grade level, um, the teacher, and of course the course. And in this case I have two courses, a social studies 6 class and a social studies 7 class. Well now this spreadsheet's all ready to go except I need to make sure I save it. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna make sure I select save as, you're gonna select Excel work workbook. <coughs> now this is very important. You do not want to save it as actually an Excel workbook. You're going to select right here and you need to scroll down until you get to comma delimited. CSV that stands for comma separated values. Select that Tell it where you want to save it. I always suggest saving it to the desktop because then you'll be able to quickly throw it away after you're done with it. And I hit save. It's going to say you really want to replace it. Yes, I do. And it says, it's, you know, are you sure you want to do it in this format? Yes. And then you can X out of here. You don't need this program up anymore. And it always asks you, you got to hit yes like five times when you're doing this. Save. Yes, I want to save it. And finally, one more. Yes. All right. So now it's all saved. And here I am in Outlook. <coughs> and I've already selected contacts down here. So I go up to File. And now I'm going to import those things that I just set up. And I'm going to go File, Import, and Export. Select it and it's going to provide a wizard for me which makes things easier make sure that you have import another import from another program or file hit next you want to make sure you do comma separated values remember that's how we saved our spreadsheet windows hit next 
Here you want to browse for it. Yours will probably be blank. Go ahead and browse for it. You're going to go to desktop. Hopefully you saved it there. And then you're going to select this one here, which is the one I saved. Hit OK. And now it's got the correct one up here in this file. Do allow duplicates to be created in case there are two email addresses for one student. That way it goes to both mom and dad. And you want to make sure that the destination folder is the contacts folder. Hit next. And then finally, before you hit finish, you have to map the custom fields. So hit map custom fields. What you're doing in this situation is you are telling the spreadsheet, which is over here, last name, first name, email, grade, teacher, course, that's what we set up before, where to go over here. And I'm going to, just for these purposes, I'm going to clear the map just so I can show you how this is done. All right, so I need to make sure that the last name and first name go into name, so I'm going to expand it. I click that little button right there. That expands it so I can see it. I grab last name, click and drag, right to last name. When it highlights like that, go ahead and release it, and it'll go right there. First name, drag over to first name, release it. Email, we're going to wait till later. I'm going to shrink this back up. Um, grade is going to go under company. Why am I putting it under company? Because Outlook is set up for businesses, not for schools, so we kind of have to improvise. And a company is big, and a grade level is big, and the course is within a, a course is within a grade level, and in this case, a department is within a grade level. So I put course under department, and now it's mapped and ready to go. The last thing I need to do is map my email address. So there's email. <coughs> I grab email, pull it over, and there. And some of these may have been automatically done for you, um, but typically the grade and course are not done for you. Um, you do not need to map teacher. And the reason for that is you're the only teacher. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter. And so you hit OK, and then finally hit Finish. And now it's going to import them for you. And here are all the names. If it looks different for you, all you got to do is go to View, go to Current View, and go to Phone List. That's what I've already selected. So right here you can see the company is 7th grade, last name, first name, some phone numbers that we don't have, um, email address is there, and finally if you scroll over, you'll see social studies. This is social studies 7 and this is social studies 6. Make sure that you um, select department. You want this divided by department and I'll show you why in just a second. But select that because that'll sort everything by department. Now my sixth grade class is first and as I scroll to the bottom you'll see my seventh grade class is down there and that is important for, uh, for what we're doing here in just a second. So now that I got all these things imported, that's great, but I still have to divide them into classes so that I'll be able to send out those mass emails. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have to create a couple folders. So I go to File, I go to Folder, I select New Folder, and I'm going to call this one SS6. And the reason I call it SS6 is this is my Social Studies 6 class. I want to make sure Contacts is selected here. And I hit OK. And now right over here, my Social Studies 6 folder has popped up. I need to make one more, one more folder, Social Studies 7. So I go to Folder. I go over to New Folder. And I'm going to call this Social Studies 7, SS7. Make sure Contacts is selected again. Hit OK. And now I have my Social Studies 7 folder right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select, at the very top, I'm going to select my Social Studies 6 kiddo, my first one. And then I'm going to grab this bar and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of my Social Studies 6. Here he is right here. I'm going to hit the Shift key and select that bottom kiddo. And then I'm going to grab anywhere in this blue area. I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to drag it over to SS6, that SS6 folder. 
and now all those names have been moved into that folder. Now my first name for seventh grade has been is already highlighted, so I scroll down. Oh, that's all I have is right there. So I select there. Now all those names are highlighted. Remember, you have to hit the shift key in order for it to highlight all those names. Click and drag to the SS7 folder. And now I have no contacts in my, ri my original contacts folder. All of them are in these folders. Here I'm clicking on Social Studies 6, and it looks like this. And maybe what you want to do, just to look at it a little bit better, is go to View, Current View, and then you're going to select Phone List. And now it looks like this. And it's important that we put them in folders because when we go to make that final mass email, so let me go back to that email. So here's that original email that we were looking at at the beginning. And now all I'm going to do is go to 2, select that. And then this global address list will come up for you. And you're just going to select from this drop down menu, you're going to select your new folder that you just created, SS6. In this folder, we have all of our Social Studies 6 students and all their parent email addresses. So you have the first one highlighted here already. And you're going to take this scroll bar down to the bottom. You're going to hit the Shift key. And then when you click that bottom person, all of those will be highlighted. And then you're going to select BCC. It's very important you select BCC. BCC stands for Blind Carbon Copy. It means that when you send these email addresses out, the people receiving the email addresses will not be able to see who it was sent to. So you'll not be sharing all of these parent email addresses with each other. If you put it in the to box, you will be sharing it. Don't hit to, hit BCC. So when I hit BCC, it starts to load in. And then it looks like this. And you can see all the names are here. As I scroll up, those are all the students with their parents' email addresses. You hit OK, and there we go. We have all the, all the blind carbon copy email addresses right here. With our email right here, we just hit Send, and then we're off. Now, there's two more important things. Number one, if you get students throughout the year, you are going to want to, or sorry, if someone disenrolls from your class or gets changed to a different class, you are going to want to delete that student. Let's say this student was that one. You're just going to select that student like that, right click, and go to delete right there. And if you need to add a student, you're going to go right up here. You're going to select here. The number, this is sixth grade, and hit tab and go across and type in the student's name and all the, all the stuff, and you can copy and paste the email. But then you can add it in as you're going. Um, that's about it. Uh, enjoy sending emails to your parents and enjoying wonderful success for yourself and your students.